welcome to Write Out Loud Studio. My name is Karen and today we're going to do a quick flip through of this folio made from a file folder and covered in Tim Holtz decorative papers. I've actually been asked to do a tutorial on how I make my folios. So in addition to this quick flip through today, we will do part one of several parts on how I construct my folios. So with that, let's get started. This is the front of the folio in the back. When you open it up, there's a pocket here on the side, which is essentially the end of the file folder. There are three journaling cards inside. You flip it open again. Here's another pocket with three very large tags. This is an envelope that is hinged to this first section with an opening, and opening at the top for another hang tag. In this section, we have a flip out This flips out for a secret journaling spot. There's an opening in the top for another tag. And the pocket here is a little mini notebook, which was inspired by a video that I saw on Bohemian crafting, and I'll leave a link below to that video. You open it up, and here is a little side tuck the tag, a little pocket here with another tag, and an opening in the top for another tag. Another little side tuck. There's another pocket on the side. Lots of space for journaling. Another tag at the top. A little side tuck. And that's the back. Over here is a removable notepad. This is coffee dyed note paper, notebook paper. And once this is used, you can make another one and slip it in. Open it again, and here is another flip out with some notebook paper or, journal, or secret journaling spot. This actually closes with a magnet. There's another pocket up here with another tag. Here we have a journal. It is not decorated. It's removable, so when you use it up, you can always insert another one. Here we have another flip out. Cellophane window, a pocket with a lot of little tags, and a closure. On the end here, we have two pockets, one on the bottom and one on the top and here on the end this is the other end of the file folder with three more journaling cards so for the part one of the tutorial that I'm going to do today we're going to cover this section right here on the end which includes this envelope this pocket and this pocket. So I'll get set up for that and I'll be back in just a moment. Here I am back again in the craft studio. And as I said before, we are going to concentrate our efforts today on this section right here, which includes this pocket, this pocket, and this envelope. The first thing that we need to start with is an actual file folder. And I have one here. I usually keep a stash of coffee dyed file folders that I buy a big box of at Walmart. And uh, it comes with score lines already in the middle and which creates a natural three quarter inch spine that we will attach our journal to later. 
But the first thing we need to do is score a line five and a half inches from, from this score line, center score line to here, and then another score line here, quarter of an inch to create a little tiny spine. We're gonna do the same thing here on the right side. Score a line five and a half inches from this last crease, and, and then another one a quarter of an inch, and then we have another little mini spine, and this will be used later as our pocket. So the first thing we're gonna do is ink this up. I won't ink the whole thing today because that'd be very boring to watch. Ooh, we'll just ink as we go. So the first thing we need to do, I keep saying first thing, is we need to ink this decorative paper that we are going to attach here. And all I do to create that is just to lay a piece of uh, paper that I'm going to use, lay this over top of it, this being the back side of the paper, and then just trace a line around it and cut it out. Simple as that. glue. This is three and one glue. fabri -Tac, if you have it, same thing. down really good. So on this side, what we're going to attach here is a flap. see here that creates that's going to create the pocket on the outside we need to cut another piece of file folder this is five and a half inches across by nine inches tall and you're going to score a line a half an inch down the right side and then miter the corners before we attach this to to the base file folder we need to mat it and I always just use music paper. You can use whatever you want, whatever, whatever makes you happy. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Trim a little bit of that off.
to this pocket here, we're going to attach this pocket here. So you need a piece, another piece of file folder, and you're gonna need several of these file folders uh, ready to go. But this is um, nine inches tall by one, two, three, four, five inches wide. And you're gonna cut from the top corner down to a one and a half inches from the bottom of the second corner. This really, you can make this whatever you want it to be. I just use one and a half inches. And we're going to glue this paper to that. Let's give it a good inking first. And if you're curious about this ink blending tool I have, my brother makes these for me, I, I think. These are some new ones that he made. I'm just trying them out. I actually have three different sizes here. I love all three of them. They're all just as equally comfortable, but I think he's gonna start selling them in his Etsy shop at some point. All right, let's glue this down. Before you attach this to here, um, if you want, you can stitch around here. I think I'm going to go do that real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've stitched all the way around this pocket. Let me cut these extra threads off. And then we're gonna glue this down to here. All right, we're gonna glue down this side and this side. I'm using art glitter glue. Purple straight line. Put this aside to dry. And the next thing we're gonna work on is the envelope. And I've already pre-cut my decorative fabric. So I've got a envelope here that I have cut to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a quarter inches. And I'll it up. It just makes it easier to, to put the decorative paper on. So we want to be able to see something pretty through that window. So we're going to glue this piece of paper down to the envelope. My envelope is, let's see. One, two, three, four and a half inches wide. Your envelope may be different, so you need to cut this decorative piece of paper to fit your particular envelope. And once you cut it out, then you want to score a line to the right for half an inch and then miter the corners. All 
sorry. Now we need to, to mat the outside. There's lots of different ways that you can cut this hole. You can use a, um, I make, I make this smaller than the actual window so that none of this white of the envelope is showing through. But um, you can use a light box if that works for you. Um, I used uh, my Big Shot to cut a hole that fits just inside this window. So, need to ink this up. Side of the window. Oops. And guys, if I seem a little spastic in this video, it's because I've never done a tutorial before, so bear with me. If you end up with a little white edge showing on here, just cover it up with some ink. It's a little part right here that I'm going to cut off. All right. get this folded right up to that score line that we made. You're probably going to have to use your bone folder by the time you add all this decorative paper on it, it gets pretty thick. And because this is so thick, I'm actually going to do some sewing uh, around the edges. I'm going to sew around the window here, and then I will sew around this edge here, and probably across the top just for, for strength. And I'll be right back. This decorative paper is not going all the way to the score line, so I'm going to add some washi tape. glue this little piece down. the 
always run my washi tape through some glue stick just so I know it's going to stay down. This is Scotch Create glue stick. And I'm going to trim these ends off and finish sewing, and I'll be right back. All right, so the sewing's all done. Be before I sewed, folded, and sewed this, these two sides together, I did sew uh, a, a line of stitching across the top just for stability. And then I folded it in half and stitched down here, across here, and up here. So I'm going to cut off these threads. You can leave the threads hanging if that's a look you like. All right. Fold that hinge, give it a good crease. And this is where we will later add a hang tag. All right. We first need to attach these two pieces together, center it up, and we're gonna glue the hinges together. Fold it and make sure you don't need to make any adjustments. We want those two pieces to be really stuck good together. All right, this is gonna be attached right here, but we wanna make sure that where you attach it, it does not interfere with the outside score line right here. Let's get some glue on the outside here. Pull this up and make sure it's, it's okay. Now we want to make, now we want to glue this to this flap. So we're going to glue down these two sides. Perfect. 
press that down really good. And so there you have it. This first section is all done. We have our pocket, next pocket, and our envelope. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover how to make this section right here along with this fun little notebook. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this and received some, some inspiration. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.